back. And we're back. That was terrible. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, I don't know what happened. I think there was an issue with OBS. Uh, for a while it was like, the frame rate is not working. But uh, now now it is, so so it's all good now. It should be good now. I think there's just a massive delay happening. Um, the preview, the preview screen is telling me that it, it's doing okay, so uh, we'll, we'll just roll with it. I don't know. Um, who knows? But uh, anyway, back at it again. And uh, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if it does work, it does work. So, so we'll just uh, we'll just we'll just roll with that. And I'm gonna turn up the volume for y'all. Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Right, last time we left, um, we had decided. Uh, well, last time we left, we just took a peek around the other the other realms. Uh, we didn't visit all of them, but we're just kind of exploring. Our goal is to get the bicycle, because um, we, we need to go fast. We have to go fast. Bicycle specifically can be found. Where is it? I think I think it's in this store. So we've been to the world where the bicycle was. No, not this one. Okay. Maybe it's this one. No, it's not that one. I think it's like one of the red doors. Pretty sure. It is. Okay, good. So. I did. I did uh, look up game FAQs uh, specifically for the bicycle because it's it's been a while, uh, and and it's something that we need. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, haven't done my usual spiel, uh, but for those of you who just came in or just hanging around, uh, oh hey, Popo Moko, hello. I don't know how late it is for you or how early it is for you, but I thank you for stopping by. Ah, <laughs> you know, last time I played this game. Um, and, and the recording is, is lost because I forgot to download it from Twitch. Uh, I basically went everywhere except here, and I, I forgot how easy it was to get the bicycle. I'm just overthinking. Alright, there we go. Cool. Alright, so this is the online version. Now we can go fast. Oh, it's 1 p.m. Ah! Oh, I see. Oh, it's early for you. Oh, that's good. Right, okay. So, since I... This is my first time playing the online version, although I'm pretty sure that there's no difference between it and, like, the original one. I'm gonna try... We're gonna try some speedrunning tech. Now, this is something that, um... A lot of speedrunners do. I'm not sure if it was patched out in the later games, so we'll see. Um, or if it was carried over to the online version. Basically what you do is you get the bicycle, you equip the bicycle, and you can get in the chair. Fuck. And then... Oh, did they patch it out? So it used to be that you used to be able to get in, get in the bicycle, get on the chair, and then take off the bicycle effect while you're in the chair and then you would move like four times as fast. Did they remove that? Is that something that got patched out? See, this is how you know that I'm like an OG player because uh, they used to be imperative. Well, dang. Or am I just doing it wrong? No way, they patched out- did they patch out the bicycle thing? Hold on. Let me try something. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Unless I'm doing it wrong. <clears throat> eh. Yeah, it just automatically uh, turns off. Okay. That's fine. We'll just uh, go sort of fast. As opposed to really fast. Good news is now 
And since we have the bicycle, traversing some of the maze areas is going to be uh, less difficult. All right. Let me think. Uh, I should probably... No, I've been here before. So let's try to get to one of the hell mazes. Or the hell maze entrance. And I think, I think we can access one over here. Like... Oh, no, 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 wait, no, no, wait. Not this one. This one, right? Nope. And this one is the forest, so which one? Is it this one? Ah. Maybe? I think... I think maybe? Also, this area is just dark as hell, so... Able creature, hello! Uh, I hope you're doing chill, or just casually going through... Casually. Or just, uh... Yeah, we're just we're just making our way through Yamaniki at a leisurely pace. Uh, it's Ava weekend. Honestly, I would have I was thinking about changing um changing my stream today, uh, but luckily the top eight um, of the games that I wanted to see are not here today. Are not here. Are not streaming today. So I'm just like I'm in the clear. Oh thank God. Actually, I thought we were gonna do a hardcore speedrun. I was trying to do speedrun tactics for like a bit, but unfortunately, I think they patched out the uh, that gimmick. Ah, uh, the Snow World is like one of my favorite places in this game. Honestly, am I stuck? Fuck. Oh. Although I think this is the way to uh, Ponyko's house, if I recall correctly. This is one of the other characters. And uh, one of the first, um, or one of the more infamous jump scare memes is found in this area. Oh, the pink sea, yeah. Oh, this one, right? Yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's just hella chill. The remake that they made years ago sucked, but the pink sea was so perfect. Oh, oh, was that the um the three D one, Dream Diary? Dang. Yeah, it's like a completely different game than uh, Yumaniki, like as a whole. I honestly feel like it's more like a fan fiction almost. I mean, it's a fan game technically, but. It's definitely a, like a like a remix as opposed to like a remake. Yeah, I don't well, I can't play it on my setup. Um But yeah, there's there's some there's some weird things that they did with that game. Like the fact that there's enemies that can actually like hurt you and stuff. I mean, technically, there's there's um, yeah the the, the Toriningen that you have to run away from sometimes, but uh, I mean, not to the extent in that game. I aren't losing anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, um, I just. Uh, wanted to play the original again. I'm glad that uh, this exists. So uh, thank you for that. Oh! Hold on a second. We're gonna explore first. Oh! 
chat, it's here. Chat, it's here. Oh, it's here. It's here, baby. Hold on a second. Okay. This is Ponyco. I actually don't have the knife equipped. I I haven't found the knife yet. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna turn the lights off. And uh, we're just gonna keep doing this. So, uh, did anybody watch Evo? Was there any any cool um, stuff in pools that I missed? Oh, you're so terrified of Ubo as a, as a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um... Yeah, I, I didn't get surprised uh, about it, but that's because, like, I saw a Nico Nico Doga playthrough of this game that goes to just show how, how old I am. Uh, and that meme was around a lot, so I didn't even know what it was from until, like, I actually, like, figured out, like, this is- oh, it's- this is an RPG Maker game. Could only fall asleep hugging a plushie- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just think it's fun- <laughs> Ponyko is just sitting there as this random person is just going into her house, turning off the lights, and then leaving. <laughs> What's the chance of uh, Uboa appearing? It's like 1 in 1,000 or something like that. Honestly, this could be the whole stream chat. Hey, Mokoi! Oh, them face so scary! Hey, you know, for, for, for some people, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, this generation's Freddy Fuzzbear. Ah! One out of 64? Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad, then. Then this won't be the whole stream. This is essentially just like a gacha roll, isn't it? We're just trying to get SSR Ubo. Oh uh, yeah. Does the uh the luck reset, I guess, after every time you, you flip the switch? I think I remember like Varg Skeletor Joel trying to do this and it took him like like two hours or something. If this is the whole stream, uh, I'm gonna change it to light switch rave. Finny Fribib Fribberful. Yeah, um, but aside from that, uh, yeah, I haven't been following Evo as much as I usually do. Normally I would be watching, like, everything, all the pools and everything, but apparently Street Fighter VI had, like, like a ridiculous amount of people. Like, I want to say 3,000 people signed up for Street Fighter, which is, uh, insane. That's why, like, the first two days are just all pools. Um, I was gonna check the, uh, the, um, what was it, the, uh, Anime Evo... Uh, side stuff, but I haven't really like taken a good look as to what's running. Also, Gundam Extreme Versus got cancelled, um, which is upsetting. Like, I understand why they cancelled um, M-Bon, because, you know, it's, it's not quotation marks. You can't run it legally in the United States, basically. You basically cannot run, um, the most up-to-date version of the game legally because uh bandai namco said you know everybody has you know can go just go to the arcades and play that's 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 how it is just <laughs> how it is in japan that's how it is everywhere else in the world right nope hey let the yeah oh <laughs> yeah i i'm so sorry i actually haven't really even like talking much about Evo. Um, there's a lot of cool cosplay, there's a lot of art. It's kind of weird to see how it's expanded because like I remember Evo like 
being like a small event held at a community college. Like that's how that that's the Evo I I remember. Um and then it just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh I I do appreciate that like you know it, this sort of event has gotten more people interested in fighting games, but like realistically well i mean realistically i'm stuck in a rock quarry so of course i can't go um but financially and i can't <laughs> financially uh i can't i can't go um and, and realistically at that point too oh yeah trey trey comics yeah shout out to trey comics for doing some sweet trey comics who does like some sweet uh ryuken bl art they're amazing yeah i I need to like go back and watch because I know some crazy shit was popping off in pools. Like, there was a blind player, um, what's his name? Blind Warriors Ven, I think, who was like doing some cool shit. Um, Melty Blood Grand Finals apparently were like insane. And then I'm not sure what like the uh, the side stuff or the side tournaments are this year either. Oh yeah, Marvel Three was hella was hella fucking cool too. Apparently, like Lythero was doing was running his uh, Phoenix Wright anchor team, and that's always like hilarious to see. Light switch wave. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, we're we're trying to find a meme, fellas. Oh, there we go! We got it! Yay! Oh boy! Hello, friend. We did it! I actually don't have the knife, which is a shame, because uh, you can you can kill a um, several uh, entities in this game. But we're, we're just, I guess, I just, I guess we're just doing tourist route. Oh no, big dumb scary face, uh. Like, yeah. I do like this, this art style too. Like, Kikiyama's, of course, is famously recluse, uh, recluse, 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 recluse. <laughs> Kikiyama, Kikiyama's a neat. <laughs> uh, and, and hasn't spoken in, in quite some time, so. I, I I do wonder though if they're like inspired by the art of like Keith Haring. There's very there's some art that's very Keith Haring inspired. Um, same same with some of the um, God, not abstract. What is it? Hmm. Ah, Dada too, but so somewhere somewhere in that that general ballpark of 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 uh expressive art that's like slightly abstract like like Russian Revolution era style art very much yeah the phallic <laughs> pretty much I forgot if this is like something that loops or yeah I think this is just like a looping area Can I not warp out of here? Never mind. If you have the knife, I think it teleports you. Oh, to Mars? It changes the monster in the background. Ah. Uh, yeah. I think we should probably look for the knife next. That's that's probably the, the next thing. It's probably the next best thing we should look for, because you can get a lot done with knives. Kniffs. Cool. And we're going to save.
we're going to save. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna save. Not in that area. Where did I? There we go. There we go. Replace. Good. Cool. Did it. Hmm. Where is the Kniff? I feel like the knife was in this area. I could be wrong. Well, at least now that I have the bicycle, I can like explore further. Okay, that's. Was that where the? No, 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 no. Hmm. Welp. We'll just see where this goes. Okay, so I think I think this loops. So let's go horizontal. Hello. direction. Maybe. Possibly. Hmm. Okay. Is this where it starts looping again, too? So that's where I came from, so we're gonna go down. I can't remember if there was like a door. Ah! like a portal or something. Or is this where I just got like the uh, the hand power? Because I'm not sure. You know? No? Okay. bust out game FAQs yet because um, I'm pretty sure I can find everything and, and the whole point is exploration. But, um, hmm. I could also check out um, the electric town because I don't think I got that either. We can pick up the flute from there. Hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. This is where I got the uh, the hand eye power. Never mind. 
Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna go back then. I'll uh, try another door. Neat. So let's try here. I don't. No, wait, I have been here before. Never mind. This is where I got the neon power. Where's where's the robot one? This one? Yes. Okay. Shit, I think I need the knife for this area, too. I think I am gonna have to, um... I am gonna have to... <laughs> look up a guide. Oh no! Alright. Let's, uh... Let's blow the game FAQs here. Knife. Yumaniki. Humor, Niki. Oh. Oh no. Why am I so far away? Oh. Oh god. Knife, human, Niki. Uh. How to get the. No, I don't want to be taken to a YouTube video. No! Stop! Please! No! <laughs> Everything is a YouTube tutorial. Oh my god. Just where, where, where? Let me. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. So first things first. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Okay. Ah. All right. Let's 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 let's. Hmm. Okay. So I found where to get the the kniff. Uh, there's there's two words two words, two ways we can go about it. And uh, I will do the hard way. Just uh, switch off the lamps. Okay, this isn't actually where I was supposed to go. I immediately lost where the door was, oh no. Ah. 
Is it this one? Nope. This one? This one. Okay. Right, so uh, normally you need the uh, lamp in order to see here, but that's fine. We're gamers. We don't need to see. Um, the knife that we're looking for is in this room. It's supposed to be in the center. There we go. There it is. Cool. We got Kniff. Now we can kill everyone. Neat. All right, now, now we can make some progress. All right, um, so there's a particular entrance that you can gain access to with a knife. Also, I'm not sure if this is the area where you can get the, uh, the flute. Every time the sound effect plays, I think, it, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Every single time you kill someone, it makes this noise. I just realized that's I that weird little like chivo sound. Um that's so strange. Uh apparently Yumaniki online, like I'm not sure why, but they decided to add chivos. And I guess that little kading is the sound effect that uh makes when you get one. That's kinda odd, but oh well. What is this? Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Um, because I know why. Because this is an RPG maker. Like, if you kill enemies, sometimes they drop coins. Interesting. Anyway, uh, that's this room. But yeah, it's interesting to see how Kikiyama used the limitations of RPG Maker um, in different ways. There's still some like leftover elements. Excuse me. Pardon me. Neat. Oh, um, I think that room right there, this is a room that you can get teleported to um, if you're caught by one of the Mad Tori Ningen. It's one of the jail rooms. And uh, it's just kind of interesting to like see parts of the, um, like parts of the map while you're exploring and then just kind of figure out where everything is in relation to other places. All right, so we're looking for a specific door. Or a specific section of the wall. It's one of these zipper guys. A 
and then you would use the knife on it. Oh, shit. Wait, I remember this. You can, I think you can rest in like one of these beds, if I recall correctly. One of them. This one? No. Is this one? No. Hmm. you doing bro long time no see just uh casually rolling through yumaniki just exploring things okay we can't get into any of these beds ah i believe this is where oh oh no oh no oh no Alright, so we gotta... We gotta run from all these starting again, and my screen is... Lagging? So, I might have to... I might have to use the OBS trick. I guess we'll just go back to where we were before. And uh, it should be all good. So maybe it wasn't... wasn't that? Maybe there was something else I had to hit with the knife? Maybe it was down here? Uh, one thing that I do kind of like I'm not sure if it's like something that I like but it's something that I appreciate is that even oh damn uh, even though I've played this game multiple times it's still real easy to get lost it's really hard to memorize um, the map layout and such okay so one more time. And this time we will not go. We will not touch the bleeding wall. Or was there. Is that the only. No, there's more down here, right? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try again. Like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's like a, a, like a closet you can either hide in or it transports you to another place. knew it. Okay. There we go. I'm 
not sure if anything like really changed, but it feels like something did. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty dang lucky. Uh, wait, what? The zipper not always show up, by the way. Oh! Oh, the, the, the thing that I'm talking about, you mean? You need to wake up and come back if you don't find it? Oh. Got it, okay. But that's the location where the zipper shows up, right? So, just as so long... So, okay, so I need to reset until it's not bleeding, basically. <gasps> Wait, but I needed to go here, too. It is to the right. Okay. Alright, I can't... Alright, we'll check uh, the right of that map after I find... I think the lantern is... There it is. Yeah! Cool. Got the lamp. And that helps us see in dark places. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be using it. I don't think there's anything else in this world. Unless there's another, like, looping area. Mmm. I see. Hold on. Wait a minute. Interesting. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go through this door. Hmm, I see. Yeah, because I thought it was, like, somewhere in this area. Like, around this area here. Okay. Oh, this is the beginning. Yeah, okay. But I'm not sure, like, which zipper it is, because it's, like, different. because it would normally be like around this area. It'd be like one of the two here. Yeah, okay. Looks different when the event flag activates. Ah, yeah, we're gonna have to probably try to respawn. Hey, bunny! Whoa! Welcome, welcome to... Good old humor, Nikki. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go teleport back to the main area. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> humor, Nikki. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, famous, uh, Adam Sandler film, Humor Nikki. Um, okay. We're gonna do a save. Our goal is the Hell Maze. Okay. Save, 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 save. Neat.
Ironically, I'm I'm actually kind of sleepy myself. Today was uh, just really I don't know. Like it was one of the few days that I had to myself in the rock quarry, and I was just like, oh, hmm. guess I'll uh, catch up on zero base one videos. And uh, I've been trying to like catch up on other stuff when I can. Um, when I have downtime, I've been trying to um, catch up on his man too. Um, which is the, uh, the gay Korean dating show, um, sequel to Legendary, uh, His Man 1. And it's, it's, like, it's not bad. It's just the episodes are, like, three hours long. So I'll be, I'll be watching, a I've, I still haven't, like, made it all the way through, like, episode six because I'm just like, girl, I can't. I've seen so much Yumi Nikki fan art over the years and somehow you've never played this game. Yeah, um, it's available to play on Steam and online. Um, the Steam version is the same version that essentially, like, the most up-to-date, the most updated, uh, version of this game, which is RPG Maker, uh, exploration game. Um, and the, uh, this, the online version, which is the version I'm playing, um, is, uh, how do I say? It's, th this is the version that I can play. Um, the online version also has included multiplayer, which is a little weird, but you can turn that off, of course. I have it turned off here. Um, and, uh, it, it also hosts, um, Yumaniki fan games. Uh, some of the more popular ones, like Tuki and Flow, uh, were made by game devs who went on to make their own original projects. So yeah. Yeah, 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 there's, there's a lot. Um, the Yumaniki manga, uh, I haven't, like, I've read a section of it, but I thought it was just weird, because they decided to, like, it was made with Kikiyama's blessing, but the story, um, was like, oh no, the door is stuck. Door stuck, because of magic. Um, and it's more, it's more, I guess it's more of a fantasy story, as opposed to being abstract. There's supposedly, like, um, there's, like, a supposedly, like, a novel, too, like, a light novel, but I haven't read it, so I don't know. Left Mark, it was better than the remake. Oh, yeah, that's right. There is a remake of this game, too, which is called Yumaniki Dream Diary, and basically that one was an anthology game that was made by several devs, and they made it 3D. It, it kind of looks like a 3D Unity game, if we're being honest. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Ah. Uh, you... Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be like a- almost like a game jam thing. So each dev took like, um, a section, like a different world, uh, and then put their own spin on it. Which is why it- yeah, it, it's why you get some like locations that are pretty faithful. Oh god damn it. This is- this is with a light flashing warning here. Um, and then you got some stuff that, uh, was just, 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 like, too video gamey, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I deeply apologize for everybody in chat. This, uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to take off the bicycle. Is there a way to, like, I forgot. There isn't an item that makes the static puzzle easier, right? I don't think so. But, oh, I think this leads you to Earthbound World. So, I honestly, I wanted to... Oh shit, I don't have the, um, the cat item. Or no, I do have the cat item, but I don't have the witch one, which is the one that I would need to bring for this area? I don't know. Okay. Please bear with me. 
My main screen is, for some reason, it's like lagging. I might have to do the OBS trick. All right, OBS trick time, let's go. This is where I uh, make the OBS window hella big so I can actually see what's going on in game without the screen lagging. This is what we call gamer moves. Okay. I'm pretty sure, like, hmm, 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 hmm. I did it fine this time before, but. Save y'all's eyes, I might have to actually <laughs> Google this as well. Oh no! Okay, I think, I think this might be it. For those of you at home wondering, no, I cannot see the actual floor. Um, the static also does not highlight anything. me. Help me. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Honestly? Ah! Ah! Now I remember. Now I remember. Hold on. Goes down here. There we go. There we go. Hey, gamer. Gamer. We did it. Uh, we made it to Onnet. Hey. Alright. Cool. the bicycle. Neat. <laughs> Alright, I think we explored everything here the last time, but just to be certain, I got the effects um, from this place before already. Actually, I wonder what happens if you, uh... Oh!
Yay, I did it. But at what cost? Eh, they just respawn. Neat. I have all of this money that I cannot use. I'll just switch out to the bicycle. Oh wait, I've already been here. Yeah, because that's where that's where I got the Oni effect, so I might have to just try another door. quest. Um, I know there's, like, other ways to... I think there's, like, other ways you can, you can get to other places in this area, but, uh, for now we'll just go back to the, uh, the hall. Where is it? Ah! something in the, the the docks area ah good and I think we can access it through this door I'm pretty sure it was I understand the sound place I think it's a stomach growling pretty much it sounds like it this, uh, this game has such a unique soundscape. Um, same with the, the sound effects. I don't think they're the generic... Um, I don't think they're the generic RPG maker of sound effects, too. Which is um, something that I appreciate. Ah! Ah! Here. This is where I want to go. <laughs> oh god! Ah! No! Fuck. Well. The one that was playing now was in the sound of an electric fan with the audio slowed down? Ah! Interesting. It's, it's actually pretty neat, like, how much um, people have delved into this game. Um, and, of course, I Kikiyama, famously reclusive, uh, does not like to talk about their work uh, very much. Um, so it's just led people to just kind of draw their own conclusions or, you know, project upon it uh, throughout the years. But the stuff that we've been able, that the the, um, the general fandom or players in general have found is pretty cool. Oh shit! You! Come here, you! You! Oh my god. Get here! You! You! Come back here. Like, I think this is one of the effects too, right? Pretty sure. Hold on, let me let me try catching him run the other way. Ooh. Okay, I am actually gonna have to um, do the OBS trick here. 
because the uh, screen's lagging again, so check this shit out. Check up. Oh. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna run this way. Nice! Got him. Cool. I didn't see what that effect was. Was it like tiny? Tiny? Small? That big? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, the, uh, the, the word that we are not using anymore in this, uh, the year 1980X. Um, but we'll just say, call it the tiny effect. Or, uh, just the little guy effect. Cool. Alright. Not that that's settled. We are going to try to not run into the Toriningen. Okay. I'm gonna have to OBS trick this too. Alright, here we go. Watch this. Try this again. <laughs> One more time. Chad, I swear I'm good at video games. Chad, please. Just get caught up on like that section. The map. Ah. But for real now. Right, the Toriningen only moves in the line of sight, so. Oh, there we go. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Gamer, gamer, gamer. Nice. 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 <laughs> this is this this is actually really easy to do. Yeah, I, I love like these like I love this too. Like I know this is very Super Mario like supposed to be evocative. Probably supposed to be evocative of Super Mario RPG. But I don't know, it, it kind of reminds me of like just weird like half 3D, half pixel um RPGs, like JRPGs, that you would play on the PC or something like that. Just like not knowing, like, like just kind of floating in the void. Two, have you ever played LSD Dream Simulator? I have wanted to. Um, it's a, it's a game that, you know, uh, if you want to own a physical copy, it's a little bit hard to get a hold of that. Um, and if you want to, if you want to stream it and, you know, in, in, in the enlightened way, um, <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd have to figure out how to get my system to play, um, to play, like, PlayStation games, you know, through Walmart, um, because it's, it's a little bit harder to set up, you know, the, uh, the emulation for those kinds of games on, on my rig. Similarities between it and the mini key are very startling. Yeah, yeah. Um, LSD Dream Simulator um, came first. Um, it's uh, it's a very experimental game uh, that is based off of uh, allegedly based off of an employee's dream journal, um, and uh, I believe I believe like the the, the sound effects and the worlds or the instances are procedurally generated which is insane to think about because it's a PlayStation 1 game um 
yeah, I've seen I've seen like playthroughs of it online and such. Um, and then little snippets here and there. There's some people who actually speedrun that game too, which is kind of insane to think about. <laughs> Hi, it's Dream Emulator. Oh, Dream Simulator. <laughs> Emulator Simulator. Yeah, LSD. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, you know, redundant to say it's very experimental, um, and abstract because it is, it's almost like more of an art piece, a playable art piece than a, than a video game, really. You're just kind of walking around, um, and contemplating things, exploring stuff, um, and occasionally, like, a short little film will play. I hate when a tweet about it and plus tries to mean drugs. <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, the internet. It truly is. Uh, is a series of tubes. Uh, speaking of, this is the Hell Maze. Um, it's a... Uh, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, get used to this sound. And it's, it's good to... I mean... I think the first time I played this game, I... <laughs> I didn't have the bicycle, so I, like, walked the whole thing. Um, it's... Don't do that. You need to... You need the bicycle. It'll cut down the time that you spend... In this. I think it's, like, the biggest map in the game, too. It's, like... Oh, oh shit, there's a toy ninjin. Okay. Uh... All right. Oh, a portal. <gasps> Wait, I know where we are. I know that I have the kniff. You try the spiritual successor, Lean Dream Incubator. I don't believe this does anything though. You can't kill these guys. Oh. Damn. I think there's something up here. Maybe, maybe it was supposed to just be, like, the maze. Because I know, like, this loops back to a different world. Let's go back in the maze. Let's just get back in the maze. did not spawn. Oh, <gasps> wait. I have I have coins. I can buy something from the vending machine. Or can I? Oh. That's a thing that you can do? Required strong zero. Oh, you can change the menu color? That's what it does? Ah, uh, huh. I think it's because I'm playing the online version, so it just automatically gives you 
the, the menu change option right away. Interesting. Did not know that. Oh shit. Wait, I want to go to there. Hold on a second. How do I go to there? I think that's the center, isn't it? out first. This is the very center. Okay. So then the door that I was looking for is like right above it. So we're gonna we're gonna try to aim for that. In that case. something in the water? Hmm. Ah. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so some people thought that that entity was Satan. Honestly... Yeah, I... I I have, like, maybe just, like, kind of one general theory. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Um, which, if you play this game all the way to the end, uh, and get the ending, of which there is only one ending, um, it's, it's... You kind of get the gist of what's happening. Um, yeah, it, it, it's... I, I do, I do, um, think that, uh, this game does have themes, themes, it has stuff, things, etc. It does have themes, um, it does, uh, have a lot of visual, um, there's visual aspects of the game that are playing with the idea of, like, uh, depression and, um, isolation and so on and so forth, but, uh, like, I don't really subscribe to any, like, cut and dry lore. But that is interesting, though. I, I do think, like, some of the some of the places, though, they do have, like, names that were given by the dev, and then there was ones that were given by the, um, um, the fan base. So, one second. sure if it's supposed to be here. But there's like a little critter dude. Hold on. I think it spawned like right as I came in. So back towards here I guess? Hold on. We'll try we'll try that again. Cats of vocal cords fucked up.
this dude, though. of 09 yet? Uh-uh, what is it? find and deals with topics like that. Sounds interesting. Is it like a... Is it like a, a story-based sort of uh, action game? Or um, like an RPG? Or... Horror? Visual novel. Okay. Yeah, I might have to... I'll give it a shot on my own time. Check it out. Here we are again. All right. This time, oh. <gasps> oh. Now we're getting somewhere. Hello. This is also like one of my favorite places in uh, Yumaniki. This desert town. I do like how whenever you speak to somebody it's got that little chime sound. The fandom called the slums, I think. Oh my god. I mean. It kind of does uh, evoke like 60s Japan, you know? Mm. You're right, but you don't have to say. <laughs> place. Huh. Oh. Okay, I think, I think we've been here before. The sewer area. But like, I'm not sure if I explored all of it. Is this? Huh? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I've ever like seen that. Although, I'm not sure if Kikiyama added anything since, like, as opposed to, like, you know, just doing some bug fixes, like, once.
Hello. Looks like somebody's getting banned. Oop. One moment. Oof, there we go. There's one. A year ago, some fans found an earlier version of Yumaniki. The differences are, are so big in some areas, like the one with a lot of beds. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Because, like, I think I think I played, like, I remember when I played Yumaniki, I'm pretty sure I played, like, version 0 0.1.1 or 0, no, 0. Point, it's like 0. 0. 0.0.1 or something like that. Like, one of the earlier builds. And this was like when you were when you had to like download the game off of Kikiyama's like web zone. But yeah, I feel like there's subtle differences or there's like stuff that I kind of remember and stuff that I don't remember. Okay, so I've been here before. I've been here before and I've done these things, but oh, hold on a second. Let me try this. Well, this one actively does not care. to the new seductress. <laughs> okay. So this area, the city area I've been in before too. There's, there's a specific area I've been trying to like... Or at least I thought I wanted to get to- I wanted to get to the moon. Um, or Mars. Oh, there's- where's that? I want to go to there. I want to go to there. I just forgot how to like go to the moon. Is it- do I have to kill Uboa? Is that it? Do I have to go kill Uboa? <laughs> Spawn Uboa and kill him? I don't think so, right? Uh, yes, a hint would be nice, please. It's not that. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good hint. All right. I'm pretty sure I cleared out everything that I needed to in this area, maybe? not in any of the worlds you can go. Oh, uh, okay. So it's uh it's it's one of the threaded worlds or one of the teleporting worlds. Um okay, you know what? Let's let's try Okay. So I think one of the first one of the first doors that I went to, like, I didn't really explore too much because I thought that I needed- I could only progress if I had the knife. Let me just go ahead and just check out what these other places are too. Very specific. Okay, I've been in there. This is the snow one, if I recall, that, recall correctly. No. Uh, eyeballs. Hmm. 
We're gonna do Snow World anyway, um, even though this is generally how you get to Pony Cove. Because I have not explored this area. Cool, Yukiona. Yeah, the Snow World um, music is also one of my favorite pieces in the game, too. That one, that one teleports us to Bonico. The place is connected to Mars in a way. Uh... I think I get what you mean. Thanks for the hint. Yeah. I'll, um... I'll go investigate those places. The two places that I'm thinking of. Okay. Okay, this isn't the one I was thinking of. But I've... Is there an interconnected world here? Also, sorry, chat. You cannot see shit, but I can. Hmm. Okay, not this one. Is this it? if this is it either but also I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking of I'm thinking of that place where you can get the um, uh, the flute too oh no wait see I got the cat there never mind remember like how to get there though pretty sure it's through it's either like the eye place or this place or hmm. yeah no worries like honestly <laughs> Honestly, this game, <laughs> this game, the fact that this game, like, will change it itself up. Okay, I see. This game has, like, events that happen, um, due to RNG and stuff like that as well. Also, yeah, the updates um, to this game have been, like, subtle updates, so it's hard for, even for, like, seasoned players to remember what's changed and what's not. Okay. Um, hmm. We'll go in here. All right, so one of the first areas of the game. We'll pick up a ghost. And let's see here. The 
Heather's ghost. I don't think I explore this area too much either. Like, I forgot exactly what is in here. I think the mall is related to RG and I think it might be something with a portal in a wide area. Yeah, that sounds about right. Or I feel like you had to kill somebody in order to do that. There was like an event that had to happen. Something like that. The way that- that's that's something that I do like about this game. The way that one describes uh, how to progress in this game is very similar to you trying to explain your dream to somebody else, which, uh, you know, makes sense for this game. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I played this game without a guide back in the day, honestly. It's incredible. I think my gamer instincts were just like honed back then. Or maybe it's because it was easier? I don't know. Oh! Wait, there's the frog. I've already gotten the frog effect. Okay. So... Then... And I don't really need to be here, do I? Unless there's something that... Something that like warps to another section. I thought maybe, maybe. Hmm. In collecting the effects is as hard as to see all the places and events. The beginning of the game can be easier, but it's more fun to see the things that are harder to find. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and. I think it's that sort of thing, like, you know, the, the half, like, half remembered and, and rumors that, uh, you know, that are spread about games and stuff. You know, when, when people, like, played games when they were younger and this was before the internet. Um, of course, you know, no internet here in 1980X, but you know what I mean? Where people would be like, yeah, I swear if you do this, like, this thing will happen in this game. And this game is very much like that. I already played the game a couple of times and I still found new places and new playthroughs. Yeah, yeah, no, I love that about games, um, games that have that sort of element I really enjoy. And that's why I think it's kind of incredible, um, that there's a lot of respect people have for this game. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that she could do that. If you don't have anything equipped, she just sits down. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, like, Kikiyama is famous- the dev of the game is famously reclusive and has not talked to anybody except, like, Toby Fox in, in, in a yes-no interview over text. Um, and the fact that people have respected that and not tried to dig up stuff about their life or who they are or other games that they might have made under different names or whatever, um, I think is, uh, great. Con and unusual, too, considering, like, how- um, the dev, the dev of, um, myhouse.wad, which is a similar kind of, I feel that game was, was very much inspired by Yumaniki. I'm not sure if it was, but, uh, yeah, that game dev got doxxed, which is the state of the internet now these days. Sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, the Doom community um, was was pretty good about protecting them and, and closed the thread. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of I, I think it's like an issue with like a lot of people just not knowing how to act when it, a game or a project with ARG elements comes up. Everyone's like, oh my god, I have to find out like who the game masters are. And I'm like, no, you're supposed to actually like play the game. Okay, let's try this. Anything? 
But yeah, like, um, I appreciate how, like, Kikiyama is so reclusive and, and, and such, and, and has just remained one of the, the internet's greatest mysteries and everyone is fine with leaving him as that. But I do want to really, like, I want to, like, pick their brain about, like, why they chose so many, um, like Aztec and Mayan uh, imagery and street art, like they're they're very much inspired by like street art and and um, uh, South American uh, and African art. This is somebody who like maybe you know, if I can assume, this is somebody who does have like a deep appreciation of like world art history or cultural cultural um, art. And I just think that's pretty fucking neat. That's pretty fucking neato. You don't really see this kind of, I hate to say aesthetic, you don't really see this kind of style or these kinds of art in like horror or unsettling games, I guess. Like stuff that, that, that has that, that sort of um, vibe. So it makes it uh, unique. Okay, I don't think... That's so weird. The formation has changed. Oh, hello. And it's all of a sudden that... I want to respect people's privacy, but I also want to perceive them. Yeah, yeah, understand. Completely understandable. Like, I just want to know, like, yeah, dude, what was your thought process? Oh! There we go. Hold on, I have a theory. The game theory- oh god. I don't- I don't even want to know if the fucking game theory people, like, touched this game. I hope they didn't. I mean, they probably did. Like, this is one of- this was like one of the, the first quotation marks, like, game theory game. Things. But I just kind of like how it just is as it is. Okay, so I've been here before. Yeah, I have like. It's such a shame that I can't really run too many RPG Maker games on uh, the setup anymore. Um, cause like... Alright, we're back here now. Alright, so, back in the hell maze. But yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame that I can't, like, run those kinds of games on my setup like I used to, like my previous setup, because there's the fact that RPG Maker, even though it's like, kind of difficult and unwieldy to code in, in some cases. It's been such a, like, it, it's been used as a, a really, uh, it, it's been used in interesting ways um, by the de by devs, you know, just going beyond just like making regular RPGs or even story-based games. Like, um, Space Funeral is like one of the most unique and interesting looking games to come out of RPG Maker of all time. Um, and it's, uh, real unfortunate that, uh, um, well, understandable that the dev would not want to, like, you know, remake it or, like, update it, because I imagine that's a huge pain in the ass. You'd essentially have to just, like, code that game again from the ground up. But, like, I would really like to play that, 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 that game, um, you know, without having to, to get, like, a whole separate old laptop to play it on. It's, uh, it's also very clever, too, with how uh, it was scored, like, the music and sound effects that it used. It used, like, the BBC, the BBC free, like, the BBC sound library, apparently, which is all fair use. So it had this really melancholy sort of feel to it. Oh, shit! Let's go. <gasps> yes! 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 Hey, Carol Bit. There's this fake theory rumor that said, um, that I like, she said, use the knife too much, Model Suki would start attacking on her own after a number of victims. Yeah. Yeah, we finally found the bicycle. <laughs> We're finally schmoovin'. All 
Alright, this is awesome. This is actually where I wanted to go. Because this is where I believe this is where I get the witch item. Bicycle, bicycle. The site has been updated. What do you mean, Yumaniki online? <gasps> oh! No. I'm not sure exactly where. Did the dude respawn? Oh! Hello. Just chillin'.
Well, this is my stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs> Why they gotta die? I don't know. At this point. I did it for the funny meme. I'm sorry, I'm a, st I'm a streamer on twitch.tv. Okay. So... I think this will spit me back towards the, the maze, maybe? You take pleasure in their death speed. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished, we've gone to there. I guess I'll go ahead and see what's uh, on the far right end of the maze? Maybe? Sounds about right. gonna go as far to the right as possible here. <gasps> oh no, wait! Okay, no, 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 no. Alright, we've been here before. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna go this way. just sounds like you're in a radiator. Oh no. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Let's... Let's just go this way. to go there. We're just gonna go as far as we can. Like somebody like actually like stitched together a whole bunch of screenshots of this map and it was like some like a ridiculous amount of they, they counted like how many screens it was I think it was something ridiculous I want to say like I, I don't think it was like 30 screens but this is like the largest world in the game it is, it is ridiculous Again, the fact that Yumaniki was made by like one dev, and this is their, you know, 
Honestly, honestly, I wouldn't blame them if this was like the one and only game that they did and afterwards they're like, right, that's it, done. I will never code again. Except to do updates. Cause, uh, cause look at this. This is insanity. The fact that, you, like, somebody would play test this too. Like, the, the concept, the idea of it. Incredible. Earthbound map is super big too, but it's mostly inaccessible. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe, yeah, I mean, I don't think Kikiyama has said specifically what inspiration they took, but it's very clear that it's very Earthbound inspired. Um, and then, of course, other games took inspiration from Yinim Niki, so that led to, like, you know, that influx of uh, RPGs inspired by Earthbound and Yumaniki. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing. I feel like it's kind of stereotypical to say that. Like, oh my god, it's, it's like, it's like that. It's just like the Earthbound. Uh, the one that, that all, like, all the Tumblr kids will like this one, but you know. I genuinely don't know if I'm going in circles here. Like I'm I'm determined to find like an exit. Somewhere. Somehow. Okay, I have looped. There's the center. So let's 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 go up. Hmm. Or not. is not very real core. I just respect people's taste, but I don't get the hype. Yeah, I understand. Um, Earthbound Earthbound, I Earthbound, I appreciate like what it was trying to do. It's a very grindy RPG game, like exceedingly so. Um, and uh, it can be kind of whimsical. Um, but there's there's certain design elements I think are interesting. Yeah. But I, I personally haven't played the Mother series. I know, Shocker, right? Okay, not here. Where is... Where the hell do I get the flute? Is it here? Because I got the neon, like, effect here. I actually really haven't, like, explored this place too much either. Huh. Because hmm. I think there was, like, a city where... You, there was where you could get the flute effect. And I'm not sure if it was like this area. Or like a different area. And the memory... The memory of, of this game ain't what it used to be. And I think there's parts of it that have changed subtly. Ah! Uh, no hint for now, um, but thank you. Let me just go ahead and explore this area in general. And see if there's any, like, connecting places. These- these look new. In 
interesting. All right, we're gonna do one more door and then uh, we'll call it. Not this one. Let's let's do the city again, actually. So I think the first time I went through the block city, I did the teleport puzzle backwards. So I missed out on like half of the sequence. Oh! Wait a minute, hold on. Oh! Oh dang! Tora, so! Ah, Sierra! Hello, hello, hello! Thank you so much for the raid! Ah, uh, so Tor, oh god, Tora. Cell underscore. Hello! Hello! <coughs> oh my goodness. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in Raiders. Hi, Spec Hamster Choo Choo. I'm a VTuber and TokoTuber. Uh, today we are just very sleepily playing through Yumaniki. Uh, instead of watching Evo semifinals, Lil Lamau. Hi. Hi, what were you doing? What were you doing before you all came over here? Were you, were you exploring worlds? Were you playing game? Hey, what's up? The whole gang's here. Funny VR stuff. Ah, neat. Well, this is this is kind of in a similar vein of funny VR stuffs. Just you know, two D, uh, no VR, and uh, existential in a different way. <laughs> Well, uh, as you can see, we finally found the bicycle, aka I looked up where it was on the internet before going live on stream, because <laughs> I needed it. Um, I found that the uh, the speed up trick that uh, speedrunners used to use for their game doesn't work no more. So that proves that I am an OG player of this game. Uh, also, we found the Kniff, and uh, we murdered a whole bunch of people. It's totally fine, though. Um, but yeah... Alright, where? Let's let's just go all the way this way. Hmm. Hmm. Hamster can do little a murder. Just a little murder. Just a little, as a tree. Oh yeah, also, uh, I found Uboa. I, I did the funny meme at the very beginning of the game, but because I didn't have the, the knife then, I wasn't able to do the other thing. Ah, Koi! It's just very nice that she's able to find bathrooms. There's only two bathrooms in the whole game, and, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, just, just a little weird, just not even, like, they're interactable in a different way, you know? And not to the obnoxious extent, extent where it's like, oh, you can pet the dog, nothing like that. It's just more like a, like a, oh, I found this pretty neat. Oh shit, do I have this? I do have this, right? I do. Okay. 
Hey, MF Crater Gundam. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Just uh, puttering around and Yamaniki for a bit. Yaminake? Oh god. It's like the, <laughs> it's the whitest fucking way I could have said that. Okay, how? Where? Where is? Where is the start of the teleportation maze? Because it's like. I could have sworn. It was somewhere around here? I actually might have to do the unthinkable and start looking up maps and stuff. Um, you know, I do like naturally stumbling upon things and going at my own pace. But you know, I don't wanna... Like, you know, get too lost. I know, right? But the thing is, is that now that I know that the game has been updated and some parts have been changed, I am well within my right to do so. Because <laughs> the last time I looked at a map for this game was like, you know, before 1980X. In, in, the, in the before times. Alright, so I've been here before. Hmm. 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 Donde esta? Alright. Ah! Yes, yes, okay, cool. This is where I wanted to go. Hmm. Or was it? So I know I'm in a different section of the map now. Oh, wait, no. I was just put, they just put me over there in the middle. Up the hall. All right, let me try, try finding another ghost. I could try getting to... Okay, no, that's where the front door is. Hmm. Because if I recall correctly, I think you can get to, like, the rooftop section around this area. Because I remember it was, like, in an area that had, like, one of the bathrooms. It's not the bad because, like, that doesn't teleport you anywhere. Uh, we hit the uh, we hit the hour mark or the two hour mark there. Yeah, good job. It was a bit touch and go at the very beginning, um, but uh, yeah, I think I think it now is any good time uh, to to call it. So let me just go ahead and save, and then we'll find somebody to raid. And it's not going to be Evo. <laughs> um, Evo Evo semifinals I think are happening for like the main games. Um, grand finals are tomorrow. I like I don't. 
I'm gonna. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks everybody who uh, stuck around. Um, as I kind of puttered around, uh, Amy and Nikki. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm so sleepy. Uh, not on purpose though. Like I. I, I was. I was sleepy. What? Move while well seated. Excuse me. This is one of the random events. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Like, this happens, like, hella randomly, I think. Right? Common Rider G3 participated in Idol Showdown. Was somebody seriously, like, dressed in, in uh, in G3 cosplay? Oh wait, never mind. I remember. This is this is uh this is a dream world. Duh. There we go. Their name was Makoto Hikawa. Oh, somebody knew. Somebody somebody knew. Somebody knew the lore. Okay. Neat. All right, so we've saved the game. Yay! Uh, next week, um, next week, or next time, it's probably gonna be more Yumaniki, or maybe something else. Um, depending on how much time, I might have an unhinged PowerPoint presentation in the works. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, this, this month, again, um, Thursday streams are cancelled due to the fact that I have to work on some other stuff at the base. Um, but all, uh, all pre-existing collabs will still go on as planned uh speaking of collaborations tomorrow sunday so uh, 8 p.m pacific standard time um gonna be over at thunderbird prime's channel shout out to thunderbird prime ch in the chat right now uh we are going to be doing the common writer den o watch along as per usual with the watch along gang which is myself dr swoos uh frozen traveler maybe um space pirate k but i almost said the true baka red that's so stupid the true baku red uh and nj chef so uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a good time, and uh, in the meantime, let me just go ahead and one mon more unhinged hyperfixation. Oh yeah, you betcha. In the meantime, let me just go ahead and see whom we can raid. Uh, who's alive right now? Um, honestly, honestly, I'm surprised. I'll be surprised if uh, if anybody is else is streaming while Eva was happening. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, Vine Wrestle 2023 is happening right now? Hello? Joelle? Joelle? Vine Wrestle? Oh, but of course. No, no. I, I know what I have to do. It's it's not gonna... Uh, we're not gonna raid into somebody that has a bajillion followers. Uh, We're going to raid into... Yeah, I know. We're gonna raid into my good friend Itta and oh <laughs> We're gonna raid into the hyperdimensional streamer himself, uh running at the speed of light, singing any song to uh cure your stress. It is Makvalon. Um he's doing Anna Song and Chill right now. Uh, so this is a good time to close out the stream as always. Um, do be nice and, uh, yeah. Uh, see you next week. Next week. No, see you tomorrow. Thunder, 8, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over at Thunderbird Prime's channel. Oh my god, I, 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 I need to power it down and charge my batteries. But yeah, uh, no raid mess. I guess ham raid, but, uh, yeah. See ya.